Don't want to get copyright. Uh, here he goes. Here he goes. Oh, shit. What? <laughs> Woo. Oh, man. Are you all right, buddy? <laughs> no. Music. Yes, people. Yes, sheeple. Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, everyone. Episode 141. 141. Yes. I said it. And I'll say it again. We did it. It's 141, people. And, and, and guess what? We got some exciting news Ah, on the Dynamite Gizmo front. First piece of exciting news is Janice has uh, listened to my, 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 my kind words of wisdom and she actually gave me some, a beverage to drink. Something half decent, a Sprite. So I can put it right in my whitest sneakers award cup. That's right. Oh man, that's shooting bubbles all over the fucking keyboard here oh that's harsh on the throat harsh on the throat there by <laughs> uh, so guess what here's today's card it's tradition around here to show you the card but it's not tradition to show you what's on the card but you'll find out anyway because we'll talk about it why do I say that I don't know, it's something I said once and I, I kind of stuck with it. Mmm. Ah, I'm so glad it's not Strawberry Perrier anymore. You'd be safe to tell me, little ginger cunt. That's right, Ricky Gervais. It's been. Hey, it's been. <clears throat> it's been. One week. It's been. Damn near because, uh, well, actually, it has been one week. I have one episode a week, folks. Uh, it might change. I might go back to two a week. I might go back to three. I don't know. It depends on my circumstances. But there won't be any less than one a week. I will say that, right? Meow. Okay? There won't be less than one a week. But what I, what I do want to say is this. I've been talking about it for a long time now. And I should have done it a long time ago. Even though I tried, it didn't work. But what, what I'm trying to say here is the Dynamite Gizmo podcast is now available in audio form, not on SoundCloud, okay? I mean, the episodes are still on SoundCloud. But from here on out, the episodes will be available on Spotify, Google Music, and hopefully iTunes. It's still getting approved at iTunes. So, isn't that great? But it's from one. It's from episode one hundred and thirty-two on, okay. Because if I wanted to upload every single episode that's available so far, I would need to pay a butt ton of money because, uh, uh, even with the most expensive uh, package plan for the uh, for the podcast host website. It only allows so much space for the archival downloads. And you can't upload unless you have enough space, okay? So you gotta pay for the space to upload. And since I have 141 episodes released right now, if I were to try to upload them all, yeah, it'd just be a lot of money. So I'm, I'm starting from 132 on, which is fine because I feel like that's a good starting point. Uh, but I'll, you know, this podcast is mostly a visual based podcast anyway, but I'm, I'm glad to say that it's available on Spotify, Google music, and hopefully iTunes soon. Hopefully the only shitty thing, the only shitty thing is that these business cards that I made, uh, 
feature my Spotify or my my SoundCloud link. And I knew when I was making these, I'm like, I'm gonna put Spotify in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put SoundCloud on here, and I'm gonna regret it because I'm eventually gonna be on Spotify and whatnot. And so I'm finding a way to get around that. I'm just gonna plaster my own fucking Spotify logo on there and and Google and iTunes. I'm fucking thirsty, and this is not helping. This does not help with thirst. Oh. <clears throat> so listen, listen, ladies and and fuckaroonies. Um, we got lots and lots of um, to talk about. Lots of stuff to talk about. Um. um <laughs> that's not. <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> do that again. Oh no. Yeah! What if I do it the other way? It doesn't matter. I like that. Wait, Try to keep this like a, a fist from your face. A fist? Keep a, keep fist in my face, Joe Rogan. Oh, I haven't went through these in a while, have I? What else we got here? Uh, no. What's in here? Oh, bird you guys ham. got any bags of bird ham in here? <laughs> we ran out of bird ham. It's been. Sorry, got some goop in my my face. We actually have a. I have a lot of stuff that I can talk about right now, and I don't know. I don't even know if I'm gonna get into it all. And last episode, I talked about maybe covering Lights, Camera, Rice, which is my channel I created with a a good pal of mine back in the in my high school days. But there's been so much stuff happening. I don't know if I'll be able to get to that, which I probably won't because I got stuffs to talk about. <sighs> so you know, you know, I'm gonna have to mention this. Okay, it's been happening. It, I mean, it happened. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna touch on it too much, because everyone's already covered it. Everyone has already said everything that can be said, and that is Kobe Bryant. Okay, total tragedy. Unbelievably unbelievable what happened. I mean, not only to him, but his daughter, and then the coach and his family, and and the pilot. Like there was nine people. You already know the story. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to cover that aspect of it. I just want to pay some respects to Kobe Bryant and say he was a huge influence on a lot of people. Although he wasn't an influence on me, I still appreciated him as a person and the things that he did. And it's a tragedy. Shouldn't have happened. Should not have happened. And the funny thing was, is literally a half an hour before... This happened. I was on Twitter. And I was just reading about Kobe Bryant. He was just on Twitter. Like, people were talking about him and LeBron James and how Le- LeBron beat his record recently or so- or something. I can't exactly remember. And then, you know, I went to go f- do some... I was at, It was at work, and then I went back out to do a little bit more work. And then I went back to break. Literally a half an hour later. And then all of a sudden... I'm just seeing post after post after post about Kobe Bryant. I'm like, what's going on? And the first post I saw was from Lil Nas X. Because this was the same day Uh, the Grammys were taking place. Was it the Grammys? Yeah. uh, Fuck. I got... (laughs) Is that gross? Probably pretty gross, right? This fucking... These soda pops make me gassy. So anyway, I saw Little Nas X. He tweeted like, it was just like a one-word post. I can't exactly remember what it was. It's a real. It doesn't matter. And then I just, I kept seeing it. And I kept seeing it. And then you know, I was just, it was starting to click. Like, oh my god, he's dead. I was just reading about him. It was crazy. But that's not okay. But we're not going to talk about that because everyone's covered it. But what I do want to talk about. What I do want to talk about. 
is Ari Shafir. Okay? I'm sure you've heard. And if you haven't heard, you're going to find out. Oh, okay. So, not a whole lot has been released since Ari Shafir did what he did. We haven't heard from Ari since he did what he did. And so, <clears throat> I'm hoping... I'm hoping Ari ends up on the on the Joe Rogan podcast to express his opinion or some sort of reason as to d- why he did what he did. Um so let's just let's just get into it. If you don't know who Ari Shafir is, Ari Shafir is a comedian, a stand-up comedian. He's very good friends with Joe Rogan and uh Burt Kreischer. Tom Segura, those four guys, am I missing someone? No. Those four guys generally uh, are known for hanging out together. They all do Sober October together and have been for the past three, yeah, three years. And so, I mean, Ari has always been known as the kind of guy who is very outlandish. He'll do questionable things that a lot of times actually get him in trouble. Man, this stuff's dusty. I'm sorry. This is just driving me nuts. There's dust everywhere. Ugh. He does a lot of questionable things, and he has been in trouble before, but not to this extent. And I'm not the kind of guy to just jump on the cancel bandwagon. Um... You know, I'm not a social justice warrior. I'm not out to get people who do something minor that people take way out of context. Okay? Wow, look at my hands. That looks weird. (laughs) Okay? But with that being said, I, I do not agree to any extent... With what Ari did. So what did Ari do? You may ask. Well. um, Not very long after the news was announced. That Kobe Bryant and his daughter had died. Along with the other people on the helicopter. Ari decides to post. An Instagram story. uh, Expressing his views. On how he feels about the situation. Followed by. A Twitter post. And why don't we just play it? Why don't we play it and then I'll talk about it. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, so this person tweeted this because Ari deleted this story almost immediately after the backlash started happening. And this guy just writes, uh, he's deleted this off his Insta story, but not before getting it captured. I follow many comedians, very controversial ones at that. But Ari, this was the last straw. Ari Shafir praised the passing of Kobe Bryant. Disgusting racist prick. Okay. Um, Let's just watch it. We're going to watch it, and then I'll read the Twitter post, and then I'm going to talk some more about it. There's always a lot of, like, hate and pain in the world, and there's always a bunch of terrible stories. And every once in a while, there's a good story. Good story comes out. The guy who got away with rape got his today. Kobe Bryant is a god. I'm here in Charlotte, the home of the team that originally drafted him. Uh, maybe he wouldn't have raped that chick in Denver if he had been if he had stayed in Charlotte with the Hornets. But anyway, the okay. <laughs> so that's the video. Now, here's his uh <clears throat> here's his Twitter post. Uh let's zoom in here. Kobe Bryant died 23 years too late today. He got away with rape because all the Hollywood liberals who attack comedy enjoy rooting for the Lakers more than they dislike rape. Big ups to the hero who forgot to gas up his chopper. I hate the Lakers. What a great day. 
Hashtag fuck the Lakers. Mm. Ah, boop, ba, 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 Okay. Here's the thing. I heard, I've heard other comedians speak out on Ari and how they feel about the situation. And the, the general consensus from what I've gathered from the people who actually know Ari Shafir is that they have all said that Ari has always been a nice guy to them, okay? And they understand that Ari has done controversial things in the past, and he's kind of known for this. But there seems to be a general consensus that what he has done, meaning this video and that Twitter post, is not acceptable at all. I haven't heard Joe Rogan's opinion. I haven't heard Burt Kreischer's opinion. I haven't heard Tom Segura's opinion. And I don't even know if they're going to say anything about it. But it would be really nice if they did. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And so what I want to say is, you know, it's I don't even, like, uh, to be honest... I'm not sure I'm not even sure what I think about this. I definitely disagree with Ari. Um I don't know. See this okay, so he's accusing Kobe of of rape. Okay? Because I guess a few years ago he was accused of of raping this girl. But if I have my story correct, and from what I've read and heard, that d the rape didn't actually happen. The court case was dismissed. And I believe the girl came clean and said it didn't happen. And this was only this was his own this was Kobe's only um you know, controversial thing that has happened at least from what I know. And it wasn't even that big of a deal because it didn't actually happen. But for some reason, Ari decided that through whatever research he did, uh, deemed that Kobe actually did this rape. Even though the general consensus is that this didn't happen. And so to post this video and that Twitter post immediately... When I say immediately, I mean like an hour, half an hour after uh, Kobe passed. is just not acceptable. And I don't know what Ari's angle was on this. I mean... I know comedians are known for doing controversial, outlandish things to get attention you know whether it's to be uh trying to get a funny angle on uh certain aspects of things or or whether it's just to to start an uproar just to get the attention you know so they can promote themselves that way But I don't know, dude. It doesn't seem like... It's really hard to say exactly what's going on in Ari's mind. I mean, I don't know the guy. But I think... I don't know. I don't see why. I don't know how... Cause like, <laughs> it's this is a tough this is a tough one. I don't like sitting here just not saying anything because I got these there's these thoughts rumbling rummaging rumbling. <laughs> there's these thoughts rolling around in my head right now because I'm trying to figure out what angle he was trying to take here, and I can't really pinpoint it.
But I'm assuming it's just to get a, a good uproar, right? Because, like, if he... I mean, there's a there's a chance he actually believes that Kobe was a rapist. And he's trying to... Um, you know, show some... What's the word? He's trying to reprimand... Is that the word? Kobe for his actions? <clears throat> But it's just not, it's in, it's such, it's in such bad taste though. Cause his daughter was on the helicopter as well as the, that, that other family, a father, daughter and wife. I mean, it's just not worth it. Whatever angle he was trying to do or get from this, it's just not worth it. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm always sniffling and I think I have sinus problems. I should probably get my sinuses looked at. I mean, there's nothing good that came from this. Ari is not going to... This is going to hurt him. Big time. His, uh, you know, whatever tour he's on right now, I'm sure... It's just going to go downhill. His ticket sales are going to drop. If they haven't already, which I'm sure that they did. Um, so who knows? Maybe in the long run it'll work out for him. I don't know. But even if this was a tactic to get more tickets, ticket sales or following, I still disagree with the way he approached this. I really do. He, I don't know. I just really want to hear him talk about it. I want to know why he did what he did. I also want to hear what Joe Rogan has to say about this because he is really good friends with Ari Shafir and he knows him. I'd also like to hear what Tom Segura has to say or Burt Kreischer. I want to hear all those guys because I already heard uh, Brendan Schaub, Brian Callen. Um, who the fuck else? I can't remember who else. But there's another podcast I watched with a few other um, smaller comedians, and they talked about it too. Uh, but then, and and then you know, then you just see a bunch of comedians on Twitter talking about him. Michael Rappaport. Specifically, he was he's furious with Ari Shafir. And, you know, rightly so. I mean, if anyone is a, is a, a big sports fanatic, it's Michael Rappaport. Not only that, but he's also a comedian. So, that guy has huge respect for Kobe Bryant. And to see another fellow comedian do this... To someone as uh, as great as Kobe Bryant, it's just I don't know. Not not good, not good. So yeah, if you do want to watch this video for yourself again, whatever, read the comments. Um, check out this guy at Tino underscore Lewis, and then. The actual post, which Ari, you're not going to see on Ari's page because his, his page is private. But if you go to um, well, this one at or, yeah, at Enbaum posted this as a comment towards this Michael and Linochi guy. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that. Ari Schaefer. That's another thing. Philip DeFranco talked about this, and he called him Ari Sha Schaefer. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Ari Schaefer. Uh, what else? We're going to move on. <clears throat> what do you...
what do you what what do you, what, are you, what are your thoughts on uh, uh fuck I got shit in my nostrils. What are your thoughts on on what what I already did? Let me know. Let me know, please. Hold on, I have I had a comment on one of my last posts here. Which one was it? This one? No. What the hell? Which one was it? It wouldn't have been that one. <coughs> I got phlegm in my throat. Here it is. Cash did. This is my buddy I was talking about last episode. He says... He commented something he wanted me to talk about. Anyway, you were talking about Tarantino last video. Have you watched Reservoir Dogs yet? Yes, of course I've watched Reservoir Dogs. Are you fucking crazy, bro? <laughs> no, yeah. No, I've definitely watched Reservoir Dogs. One of the greatest movies of all time. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Can't get enough of it. Well, I mean, I can. But... <laughs> Look, all, all, I'll tell you this. All of Quentin Tarantino's movies I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, his movies are beautiful masterpieces. The Hateful Eight is one of my favorites. A lot of people will watch that movie and say, hey, this is slow-paced. Get to the point. But no, no, no. The dialogue, the writing... In, in a Quentin Tarantino movie is perfection. It's beautiful. Anyway, I don't want to talk about Quentin. I'm going to blow my nose because I can't stand what's in my nose right now. Oh, yeah. You like that? <laughs> you like that? It's my... I gotta get my fucking sinuses looked at, dude. I feel like every episode I'm snorting and sniffling. Oh no, I ran over my cord. You ever run over your headphone cord and it gets caught in your wheel? That just happened. <clears throat> Here's something. Uh, the other day, San Miguel Sheriff. Uh, this is the official page of the San Miguel Sheriff's Office. They posted something on Twitter that was uh, it went kind of viral. How many? <coughs> Two. God, I'm fucking gross, dude. I keep burping and fucking sneezing. Okay, 235k likes and 44k retweets so they posted this picture of a boulder on the highway looks like it's on the side of a mountain too okay and it's in the winter and the post reads this following the following it, it reads the following large boulder the size of a small boulder is completely blocking eastbound lane highway 145 whatever at silver peak road please use caution and watch for emergency vehicles in the area so so uh the the kicker here is where it says large boulder the size of a small boulder so who 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 wrote that and what does that mean exactly large boulder the size of a small boulder I don't know the large boulder identifies as a small boulder and the bigotry on this thread is so typical in Trump's America mm. and everyone's making Biggie Smalls references blah 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 it turned into a bit of a meme you can see in the comments here whoopsies Small boulder the size of a large boulder. Large boulder the size of a small boulder's older brother. Large boulder the size of a larger boulder just showed up and said, What did you say about my obviously large boulder brother? 
Bam! That's a good one. This was kind of a dumb one. Why did I even talk about this? Okay, that's just that. Oh, 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 I guess I should have mentioned this. Jesus. Okay, so back to the Kobe thing for a bit here. Um, at Shea Booski posted this. A month ago in Newport Beach, Kobe witnessed a... M Oliver, could you stop that? A month ago in Newport Beach, Kobe witnessed a major accident and stayed to comfort victims and redirect traffic until help arrived. Mamba mentality forever. Okay, so... A month... About a month ago, uh, Kobe had witnessed an accident and he stuck around to help comfort the victims and redirect traffic and someone got footage of it. So I thought this was kind of cool. Uh, there he is. Of course, we got the TMZ watermark here. Which is another thing. Yeah. Uh, TMZ fucking... I mean, you, I'm sure you already know this, but TMZ <laughs> released the story before the next of kin was even informed that Kobe had died. And, uh, you know, this is nothing new. The media is known for doing shit like this all the time. But I just thought that's so distasteful. Like, how? Why? How could you do that? I, even if even if even if I was in the business of paparazzi and I you know I knew that this would get the high ratings you know getting it out first I mean I wouldn't even it wouldn't even be a thought in my head to release this information you know like how could you do that to someone not only that, we're seeing news stories about Kobe's wife, and one of them said uh, she uh, Kobe's wife cannot stop crying when trying to talk about Kobe. And it's like, no shit. <laughs> like, leave her alone. Her fucking, her daughter found out about her father through TMZ and had a fucking asthma attack and had to be rushed to the hospital. Like, it's just absolutely insane. I never did like TMZ that much. And I kind of started liking them for a bit a while back. But now I just think that they're garbage. Like, that's so, that's the worst thing you could do. As a fucking paparazzi. Paparazzis are despicable anyway. Is that the right word? Despicable. Okay, so what can we do now? Let me just admit, let's let's do this first. Okay, I think I mentioned before people are. Oh wait, what else do we have here? Oh, okay. I think we have mentioned before. This is a super video heavy episode. It's funny because I just mentioned that it's available on Spotify and Google and iTunes now. So if you happen to be listening to this in audio form. Uh, this is, this is a, a video heavy episode. They're not all video heavy. Okay. But everyone will have video segments in it. So if you do, if you are listening to this, uh, in the audio version and you want to check out the videos I mentioned in throughout the podcast, you can go to, uh, YouTube. And search for the channel Dynamite Gizmo Films. Boppity boopity. You feel me? Screw my nooples. <laughs> okay, so I mentioned before. People are getting really good at faking videos, okay? People are believing them left, right, and center. And this is another example. Um, I question everything I see on the internet. And generally you can... You know, you can generally tell when it's fake or not. No matter how real it looks, you can usually tell how fake it is. But people still fall for this shit. And this video I'm about to show is an example of this. Fucking 
Eric Griffin fell for this. And so this is going to be a problem. So let's watch this. And uh, you just uh, decide for yourself. Well, no, don't, don't, don't decide. It, it's fucking, it's fake, okay? But you can see why people would think it was real, especially the boomers. Not saying Eric Griffin is a boomer, but he's not a young person, that's for sure. He's not a millennial. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it just makes me cringe when people fall for this shit. Yeah, yeah. Lock. Oh, he's off. So it's a Look guy in a good. Good. Uh, to rolling down a hill. <laughs> oh, fancy. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. And the car stops right before it hits him. And of course, the fucking video pops. Is he alright? No way! So, yeah, you can see why this could be looked at as as real, but it's fucking, it's it's fake as fuck. And look at these comments, like everyone fucking believes it. Look at these comments. Okay, this guy knows it's fake. In reality, should be. like people are fucking falling for this. It's fake. It's fake as fuck. See, when I first posted this, everyone not. You know, everyone kind of knew it was fake, but now I've seen, like, fucking every comment. Everyone believes it. I don't understand, dude. How can you How can you watch this and think it's real? It's so obviously fake. Lock. Like, just look at it. He's off. Looking good. Looking... Step! Pull your feet in! Just, just fancy. Oh, See, like, right here, you can tell this. Oh, it's whoa, fake. whoa, whoa, whoa! So fake, dude. You know, it's just like what started all this is back in the day, uh, uh like a, a a university for that that does like movie effects, CGI, and stuff. They had a task to make a viral video, uh, or to make a video and try to make it go viral, and whoever got the most hits won the little competition that they did and it was the it was the video of an eagle swooping down and picking up a baby and taking off and then it drops the baby at the last second it's, it's totally fake but this was way before anybody did this sort of fake shit so everyone believed it but it, and it looks real it looks super real but this shit is not real this is not real i don't know why people fall for this i don't understand I want to preface, I'm recording this episode pretty late. I usually don't record them this late, but I had to because I've been uh, doing shit this whole week. Didn't get around to filming a podcast, and I'm like, well, I gotta I gotta film this one right now or I ain't gonna get it done. So, yeah, I got a headache. Why do I have a headache? Why do I have a headache? Here's another interesting thing, video. This is a soup. This is what, like, we got. Two, two, well, actually, this is the last video. Hold on. How many more minutes are we? Okay. 40 minutes. We're doing good for time, bro. Good for time. Okay. Barstool Sports. James Corden. You know him. Look, this is empty. I drank all the soda pop. Okay. James Corden. He's got his own talk show. And the guy's known for carpool karaoke. Uh, you may have seen this video. You may not have. If you don't know what carpool karaoke is, well, you need to wake the fuck up and go look up what that shit is. You may have not known, or you may not even have thought about it, but he's not actually driving that car, okay? He's being towed. Look at this video. I saw... I. 
I, you know, I never even thought about it. But it makes sense why he wouldn't actually drive. But someone caught him and Justin Bieber filming an episode of Carpool Karaoke. Yo, it's the Biebs and Justin Gordon. They're Justin. doing Carpool Karaoke. That is so funny. Hey, Bieber. Justin, Justin Bieber. Bieber. Oh and James Gordon. Oh, that's so great. Oh, that's so great. Yo, it's oh that's so great. <laughs> but then if you look in the comments, which... It's not here anymore, but other people have actually caught him in the past driving and not being towed. So I'm sure they got to a point where they're like, we can't drive anymore. You guys can't drive and sing. It's super distracting. You need to get towed. And I mean, it makes sense. But it's just, it's just interesting. It's been... What is this? Oh yeah, the fakey fakey, and this is the foopy foopy, and the, uh, okay, look at this, Eddie Burback, he reached half a million subscribers, woo, Eddie, woo, Eddie, good job, that sounds sarcastic, but I'm, I'm really, I really mean it, Eddie deserves more, um, he deserves more, but I understand why he doesn't have more, because his uploading schedule is trash and he admits it in this in this post but i mean nakey jakey's upload schedule is also trash but that guy's got a million subscribers and i'll just say if i haven't already i'm going to be uploading something about nakey jakey soon like because i'm starting a new I shouldn't say. I'm not going to say anything else. You may or may not get a video about Nakey Jakey. I'll just say that. Me. Talking about him. Uh, well, is that it? No, it's not it. We got one final thing to talk about. One final thing. Uh, Joey Salads. You know him. Uh, you, you might know him for his pranks on YouTube in the past. You might know him for being a recurring uh, guest on the H3 podcast. You may know him as the, the, the Trump supporter who's now running for Congress in New York. Or you may know him as all three. <laughs> you may even know him as the guy who stuck his dick in a hot dog bun and squirted mustard on it. <laughs> Or you may know him for for whipping his dick out and pissing in his own mouth, cause he's he did that too. <laughs> but recently, most recently, he posted uh, a post on Twitter that said, "What's up, my n words?" Just uh, straight up said that, but. He didn't just end it there, okay? He has... He has reason. He has a reason for his actions. And that is because he went on what looks like 23andMe and found out that he is 15.6% Western Asian and North African. <laughs> And he just says, what's up, Bob Edwards? <laughs> just post. I, ca I can't say it, okay? As much as I would love to say the N-word, you know. Especially on YouTube, you can't you can't do that, okay? PewDiePie can tell you about that. So he's 15.6% North African. And then he goes on to con continue his, his thread here. Um... If I get canceled over this joke, just know it was worth it. Weird, all the colleges that denied my years... Uh, oops. That denied denied me years ago just emailed me with full scholarship. <laughs> now I'm first in line for city jobs. Imagine being a leftist triggered at this joke. Meanwhile, you got Elizabeth Warren living this joke. Damn, Harvard offered me a teaching job for 400 k a year. Seems like this thread only offends white people. Hmm. If 
fixing my DMV info. <laughs> oh, black, African American, or Negro? What the fuck? That's uh. So that's what he put on his DMV information, I guess. Turns out Sean King is my first cousin. The left is still trying to figure out how to cancel me. Either it was a black conservative or a white guy pretending to be black. At that point, they would have to cancel Sean King too. Just got an invite to download Black Twitter. It is official. YouTube nominated me for Black Creator of the Year, and now they are featuring me on the homepage. Selling N-word passes. DM me. Serious inquiries only. Rates. $5 for one. 15 for five. $100 for 100 Y'all need to chill with the threats. Someone else said that they were going to stab me. Uh, so someone replied, Just know if I catch you in New York, I'm spitting on you. No warning. No words. Joey Salad says, thanks for contributing to, oops, to, to black on black crime. <laughs> Some Instagram comments, black and proud I see. Uh, okay, little huddy tees. I don't know what that means. Our black king himself. Didn't think it was going to blow up, but check out my mixtape on SoundCloud. Hold on. Twitter confirms my African heritage. Jesus, this thread just goes on and on. Hello, we have just received a complaint regarding your account, Joey Salads, for the following. What's up, my N-words? We have investigated the reported content and could not identify any violations. <laughs> Holy. Jesus, this just keeps going. I'm glad my brothers are sticking up for me. Oliver, come here. Hold on. I got you can't go outside yet. White people are so safe behind their screens when they do shit like this and they know it. Well, baba. Did you read it? He's black. I'm black. That is a black man if I've ever seen one. How excited for my first cookout? Hey, what was good, my my N word? You invited to the cookout? <laughs> what the hell? Damn, bro, being African was harder than I thought. They got me for DWB. What's DWB? I'm out. Got some Mets tickets and Chipotle gift cards. We finna eat tonight. Bail reform treating us well. Holy moly. I came a long way. Should I remake this video? N-word prank. Big feels right now. Going into the inner city and I'm gonna yell the N-word. They respected me for saying it. Going into the... <laughs> oh, that's great. I gotta hear this fucking mixtape. Oh, yeah. I'm 50% African. And guess what? I'm dating a Jamaican mom. I'm not a man, but like a mom. Like a Jamaican mom. Alright, my girlfriend is is uh, half Nigerian, Jamaican, half Jew. I'm 15% African. <laughs> so I think I can say it. What's up, my... No! Okay. Lil Cringe, I will say. Lil Cringe, I will say. But, but uh, the rest of it was pretty funny. <laughs> Joey, you know, Joey, 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 you know, I hated him when he did his pranks, uh, oh, well, look at this, KSI is with <laughs> Logan Paul and Jake Paul's dad, <laughs> that's right, because Jake Paul's doing the fight tonight, right now. Logan Paul <laughs> tweeted this. I wonder what that f what is that fight over yet? Damn, Tara Babcock. Um, 
What was I saying? Oh, yeah, Joey. Joey, Joey, Joey. Joey Salads. I hated him when he did his pranks. I thought they were ridiculous. Completely clickbait and, you know, not even... Not... You know, they were just all fake. And, you know, anyone who did pranks back in the prank invasion day... Well, I guess that was a channel. The prank, the you know, back in when YouTube was all about pranks, they were all fake. But anyway, and then you know, I started liking him when he was on H three, and now, now he's running for Congress, and he's promoting all this Republican shit, which I'm fine with. I don't care whether you're Republic or Democrat, whatever. I don't give a shit. But either way, I th I think Joey Salads is a funny feller right now i need to see jake paul versus gib i don't care about this fight i cared a little bit about the logan paul and uh ksi fight is it over? Paul was betting for Gibbs. Ah, ba 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 ba. Is it happening right now? Or is it over? I don't care. I really don't fucking care, dude. McDonald's spicy habanero McChicken is Shh. back. Shut, shut the fuck up, dude. I I don't care. Why do I even want to look at this? Look, Jake Paul is not. I'm not a fan of Jake Paul. I'm gonna be honest. You know, he's he's an all he's he's an all right dude. He's you know. He knows how to make money. Look at this. Okay, I just want to point out this Ari Shafir toilet post here. This guy's fucking phone is at 2%. Why do people let their goddamn phones die that... Or get down to that low? Anyway. Um, I like Logan Paul. I'm just, uh, he's changed. He's not what he used to be. I think Logan Paul is a pretty decent cat. If I were to meet either one of them, it would 100% be Logan Paul. Even if I didn't have a choice between the two, I'd still like to meet Logan Paul and Mike. I think they're I think they're pretty cool guys. <sighs> the Impulsive Podcast is is a little broy, <laughs> but I enjoy it. Anyway, it's been um. And you might be saying, "Well, they're super cocky and all that," which. Is uh, a little bit, but they're they're generally just joking, okay? When when Logan Paul says Impulsive is the number one podcast in the world, he's obviously just fucking around, you know, because it's not. I'd say either Mark Maron's or Joe Rogan's is probably Joe Rogan's. At one point, it was Mark Maron, but I think Joe Rogan has uh, taken the title. But who who am I to say? And I'm not just saying that because I'm a fan of Joe Rogan. I'm saying that because Joe Rogan is a massive influence. Uh, you know, just the fact that he said he is willing to vote for Bernie Sanders brought this massive uproar. And Bernie Sanders used Joe Rogan's voice in his ad campaign, okay? And I've said it before, but anyone who goes on the Joe Rogan experience, they they use this term where they say the Joe Rogan... Uh, what do they say? You know, you go on Joe Rogan as a nobody. You come out the other end as a massive fucking 
superstar. You get, you get the. Ooh, it's like what people used to say about. Oh no. About uh, certain talk shows. Whatever. Okay, I think that's it for this episode. How many minutes are we? Oh, that's a good amount right there. Okay, well, fuckers. That is it for this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, um, fondle that bell notification, uh, lick it, smack it around, touch it inappropriately. Uh, yeah. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye-bye.